My name is Ben. You know, a lot of people have been asking me about leech therapy. What are the basics? How do you get them? How do you use them? Well, I have an opportunity now to try to show you some basic leech therapy. Unfortunately, about three days ago, I was rollerblading, took a bad fall, and now I have a large hematoma on the left forearm. I don't know whether you can see that this well, but it's pretty swollen and I'm getting a lot of black and blue stuff forming. And that's going to get even worse. These take a long time to go down on their own and sometimes can cause complications. Now enter the leech. The leech has a wonderful chemistry set of enzymes and other chemicals that inhibit inflammation that uh, will dissolve clots and do all sorts of great things. So I'm going to show you what happens or how you apply the leeches. I don't know much about videotaping, but I want to do my best, so just bear with me and I'll do what I can during this session and then we'll have to splice together uh, another session to show you the before and after. Okay, you order leeches. So how do the leeches arrive? Depending on where you order them from, they may be sent in a thermos, metal thermos, or like today, got the leeches in in the mail, just a regular box, and then inside the box, a bunch of wrappers, and voila, leeches in a little Tupperware container. Now, how cool is that? So I ordered five leeches. They send them in a Tupperware container in this case, uh, could be a thermos, but there's some sort of fluid with this gelatinous material that keeps them moist and everything. Now these little guys are really hungry. You know, they haven't been fed for probably a month or two. They're young, they're eager for their first big meal, which is me. <laughs> and I intend to put them, locate them around this hematoma and the swelling part of my arm. Now, it could take a while for me to get these positioned, but I just want to kind of throw out the basic steps so you'll know what to do in case you decide you want to use uh, a natural alternative healing method like leeches. Okay, so you've got your leeches, and I've got a box here of just a bunch of stuff. You're going to need bunches of paper towels, you're going to need uh, maybe some masking tape uh, or this elastomeric bandage. One thing you've got to remember, once you position a leech, you need to leave it there until it gets through feeding. That could take anywhere, depending on what kind of vein or whatever that the leech finds. Uh, he may be full up in 30 minutes or it may take an hour or even more. I've had this vary between 30 minutes and 4 hours even. But typically, just under an hour, they get about 5 times or 10 times their size, they're full, and they just roll off. Now, people say leeches are, uh, are a natural healing source. They also say that uh, you don't feel them. Well, that's not quite true. It'll feel like maybe like a little bee sting or something. But uh, what's, what's a bee sting among friends, huh? So don't worry about that. Worry about not being able to get a hematoma down or some sort of swelling. People use leeches anywhere there's uh, uh, congested uh, blood flow or thrombosis, something like that. So I've got all of these containers. And one of the things that is important when you're working with leeches because these little guys are so friendly and they want to crawl all over you, I would put gloves on, rubber gloves. These are latex gloves. And have a bunch of different little containers. Here's a little paper drinking uh, or plastic drinking cup, plastic something, uh, a little bubble plastic off of something. These are good when you want to position the leech. You can put your leech in there and then put that down on your arm until the leech decides to bite in and take hold. Now when I say bite in, it's just a little pin prick, but you'll be aware of it. Uh, it'll take a little while to get all five of these leeches positioned, but let's go ahead and get started. 
Okay, I'm going to unwrap the uh, first time ever for me taking the lid off here. Let's check out the leeches. I'm going to take my sunglasses off. Okay. Now, I don't know whether you can see this or not. Uh, leeches are just kind of sleeping, laying around. So we are going to find a little container and let's see if we can't get a leech to grab a hold of something here. Okay, here's a here's a likely suspect. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay, he's in the he's trying to crawl out. Get back in there. Yeah, these guys really you know, they just want to explore, explore. So we're going to put him right there. Now, hopefully in a couple minutes, he'll decide that the, uh, that the plate looks good. And he'll take a little bite and see if he likes it. So I'm just going to wait until he gets situated. A lot of times you'll find if you can put a couple leeches in there, as soon as one decides it's dinner time, the other does too. One kind of decides what the other one is going to eat. Okay, I can feel just a little tiny, tiny pinprick. So there he is. He's stuck on that arm. Okay, let's grab another one. Uh, here's uh, here's his buddy. Okay, come on, guy. Uh, you got to kind of coax these gently. Now, sometimes if you uh, if you get them on your glove, they won't let go unless you kind of kind of force them to okay now let's oh yeah there we go now I'm going to put him on there it looks like he's already chowing down so yep see they they put one sucker in there and they start uh, drinking the blood and they'll gradually get bigger and bigger uh, actually they may uh, lengthen to a couple inches long they're going to get really big. Okay, let's grab another one. And there's one in there. Okay, let's go down here where we've got a lot of uh, bleeding. Well, he doesn't seem to be too eager to have dinner. I think he's just going to be a shy dinner guest. Now you can see this one, he's kind of stretching out, but he's not going anywhere because he's already got his, uh, his fork into the good food. This one's going down. Okay, he's going to explore. Yeah, go ahead. And let's see if he's ready to take hold. Sometimes it takes him a little while. You know, maybe they're camera shy, I don't know. The mistake that, uh, or the fear that most people have is that these things are going to crawl, get away from them, and uh, they're going to be, you know, coming after them. They can be uh, just a nuisance. There's one now. He's trying to get out. I'm going to try to put him in a container. Uh, he looks like he's really hungry, so... And you want to be careful that you don't hurt these guys. Sometimes I use the back side of a cutter to break their hold. Uh, yeah, let's put him. Well, let's put him over here, right on top of that uh, big hematoma. See what he finds. the The only problem that uh, people have really is fear. Uh, fear is just uh, really unwarranted. Fear of the unknown, fear of not being in control. These leeches sometimes can get on your gloves and they start crawling up and you think, oh my gosh, how am I going to get this leech off this glove or something? Uh, don't panic, just take take the back side of a, uh, a an instrument like a knife or something dull, you know, a, a dinner knife would be good, butter knife or something, something that you can kind of prime off the glove but they're really not going to go anywhere. You just don't want to let them get near your nose or your ears or something like that. That would be kind of silly. Oh yeah, this guy's, uh, he wants to join the party too. 
Yeah, he looks uh, he looks like a real party animal. As soon as I can get him off of here. Okay, fella. We are going to put you into this cup, whether you like it or not. Now, see, he's kind of trying to hang on, and this is the only problem. I'm going to kind of push his sucker off of the cup, and let's see. Yeah, let's let's plug him in down here. Okay. One thing I would recommend is taking uh, a good bath before you do this because if you've got, uh, you know, chemicals or something, if you've been working on the gasoline engine or something, they won't want to attach too well. So take a shower, get good and clean. They like a good clean dinner. Uh, now they're all happy. They're all going to suck the blood. One question a lot of people have is, what if I'm on Coumadin? Am I going to bleed to death? No, that's silly. I'm on Coumadin, actually at a higher dosage than most people are, uh, because I have deep vein blood clots and you, know, you name it. But uh, it doesn't bother me and doesn't seem to be bothering the leeches. So I've got five leeches attached. I can feel a little stain from each one of them. It's, it's not that bad, just, uh, just deal with it. But the most fascinating thing is these leeches have chemicals that are going to uh, reduce your swelling. They're going to reduce any arthritis or rheumatism. Uh, they're going to make you feel better, believe it or not. I mean, you may be wondering right now, well, it doesn't feel so good, but uh, they little pinches, but uh, it's okay. Uh, you will benefit. They have some wonderful uh, chemicals and enzymes and so forth that could just do you a world of good. So, for this edition, that's pretty much it. These guys are going to continue to suck blood and get bigger and bigger. And I would say probably in, this guy here is pretty thin. He's kind of uh, uh, a slow drinker. Uh, probably within an hour, these things will be full and they'll fall off. Now, if I can figure out how to do this video thing, uh, right now, it's, you know, I'm just uh, very basic with it. I would like to come back and show you uh, how the arm has changed, uh, if, if at all, whatever. But I know I'm definitely going to feel better. So that's it for now. I hope this has been informative. And think positive when you think about leeches. Again, you can order these things uh, off the Internet. They run me $8 each, and they charge a flat $25 shipping fee, and that's it. So this is the house of uh, good wine and food. So we're going to let them drink and be merry, and then we'll have some good positive results. Thank you for watching this clip, and I hope somewhere out there someone can benefit from this. Thank you.